If there's one thing I'm good at doing, it's not getting out of bed. Sadly, this is not really seen as a positive quality, societally. Which is why for years, every Saturday or Sunday, this was my routine. I should get up. No. If I was allowed to be on my own schedule, I stay up till 3, wake up at noon. And when I was unemployed for a time, I had a lot of mornings to wake up this way. One, do one productive thing today. Never! Get up, get up. Up. Now, Linda, please go do something productive. I didn't know how else to start my day without thinking I should be productive. But that always included getting out of bed? But the funny part is, the day I stopped bullying myself for not getting out of bed was the day I started becoming productive in bed. Started with using apps on my phone more. Where's Tumblr? Oh, Tumblr. Tumblr, Tumblr. So I'd kind of slowly wake up that way, doing all the usual apps. Email, Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr. And then I'd read the news. Mm. Ooh, time. Since I wasn't thinking about what a terrible person I was, I started thinking about other things, like my stories and stuff. And so that was good. And then I got the idea to put my laptop under my bed the night before, and then in the morning, it'd be right there. There you are. And so I started writing from my bed. <laughs> Since it was a much less formal atmosphere, I would just try things. And I started liking my ideas more, rather than when I made myself, like, go be out and about and do yoga and wear pants and stuff. <laughs> so I just, so I kept doing that. Sometimes from, like, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. I mean, the only real issue I had was that sometimes I'd get hungry. It's three? No, I haven't eaten. But then there was a remedy for that too. Breakfast in bed it is for winners. Oh, I forgot a fork. It is for winners. Because you're allowed to eat at your bed desk. And that's what I call this. Yeah! Yay! Some of you may have noticed my Tumblr where I take pictures of beds that look really comfortable and I say, this is a desk, this is a desk, this is a desk. Because, yes. Shake it up! You don't have to make a cubicle at home for yourself. Like, you have other jobs for that. I mean, it's not that I don't like working at my desk. I actually have a pretty good time working at my desk now. But what was really helpful was learning how to get really loose. And still work on my projects. And when you wake up in the morning, you tend to be pretty relaxed. And so, by keeping all my desk stuff around me, I could just start working and marry it with that relaxed atmosphere. Hey, winner. I'm sit with eat waffles. Working from my bed desk was a nice new, like, thesis statement for like, I respect myself so much, bed desk. And it was very fruitful. I mean, I got a lot of good notes out of bed desk work. So yeah, I think I'm done. Oh. After that, that was dramatic. Hello, and welcome to week 11. Whoa, double digits. What do I want to say? Say who you are. Hi, my name is Linda. Yeah. I make writing videos, but this bed desk thing, every bit about this is true. It was really hard for me for a while, and then I read a quote by Lena Dunham that said she wrote the first season of Girls from her bed eating cupcakes. And she said that was her favorite place to write, and I was like, she's legit. Girls is legit. I can be legit from my bed. So yeah, I started writing from my bed and it was awesome. I so recommend. Go do it. Try it. Try it. Do it. Do it. Tell me how it goes. It is getting warm, but I've already committed to wearing this sweatshirt, so I'm gonna do it.